leeches. They are able to live in water as well as on land. Sometimes they can easily crawl long distances to get to another body of water, like this one, for example, crawling briskly. Still, they prefer clean water to live in. Swimming leeches are very good at trying to suck on something right away, and they move, clinging alternately to the front and rear suckers. The front sucker has a mouth in the shape of the Mercedes logo, and the leech feeds exclusively on blood. We are going to talk a lot about this aspect today. The leeches we have at our disposal will have a sumptuous choice for a full meal. On the menu today is the blood of a drug addict, the blood of a perpetual drunk, and the blood of an avid smoker. But predictably, when we started looking for subjects, no one wanted to volunteer for this little bloodsucker, and violence is definitely not our method. So the task will be to feed the leeches blood that we will take from the vein. But there is an important point. The whole point is that the blood literally thickens in three minutes. Using pig blood as an example, you can see what it would look like, a kind of blood jelly. It's just not quite clear yet, can a leech eat it? It's time to find out. We dip the clot into the water and watch. At first, the leech did not even notice that there was something it needed so badly and swam in the upper part of the vessel, leaving the clot on the bottom. But soon it came down and began, as it seemed to us, to suck the bottom and carefully pick the blood out of the water. But it's really just an appearance. In fact, the leech senses that there is blood nearby, but where it comes from and what to suck on is not at all clear. In that case, let's change the conditions and see if the leech can get a snack on land, or rather, in a petri dish. At first, it just crawled around trying to see where the blood was. The leech even climbed under the jelly formation itself a few times, but still no sucking. Let's try another option, wrapping the blood clot in gauze. It spins around again, but there's still no suction. There was something like this once, but the leech was using the rear sucker, not the front one on the mouth. So it was decided to break the clots to get at least some liquid blood. Pour the substance into a petri dish and cover it with gauze. Place the leeches on top and cover with a second beaker. They don't go anywhere until they eat, and miraculously, one of the three realized that here it was, the long-awaited food. The leech sucked and began to drink while the others climbed in search of it. The whole thing lasted a little over an hour. In the time lapse, you can clearly see how the leech gradually grows in size. According to the sensations, the blood-feeding worm has visually become four times larger than its brethren, who still adhere to the diet. There is an opinion that if a full leech is thrown to the hungry, they will suck on it and at its expense to replenish their food supply. It would be necessary to test whether this is actually the case. Let's throw it to the skinny and see. So far, nothing happens, only time spent among the same. Even a few hours of observation did not give a concrete answer to the question of whether it was really so. But after 24 hours, it was finally clear that the myth remains a myth and leeches do not do this. The first leech is the luckiest of all in terms of blood quality. She will get Vitya's blood. This is a man who doesn't smoke, who last drank alcohol six months ago, who doesn't even know what drugs are. Besides, until recently he was a professional athlete. The leech is already ready, so let's begin. You can see how it is stuck to the skin with its sucker, and there inside incisors cut the epithelium to get to fresh, warm blood. At this stage, when the leech has already started the process, you can remove the tube. It will now be able to support its own weight on the suction cup. As a last resort, use the second one. It's like being stung by nettles or a needle. Why blink if it doesn't hurt much? It still hurts. Did it hurt more in the beginning when the leech pierced the skin? Or... Yes, it did. Did it hurt more than it does now? Yes. It's been over an hour, which should be enough time for a meal. 
so it's time to remove the leech. By the way, the leech should never be torn off, forged, or subjected to other mechanical effects. With such an impact in the wound will remain kittenous teeth that can cause suppuration. The right thing is to bring an absorbent cotton with iodine, with alcohol, or sprinkle salt. Strangely enough, the iodine marker did not help at all in removing the leech, so the absorbent cotton had to be moistened with alcohol. It definitely helped. Now Vitya will have a Mercedes sign on his neck, because that's what's left after the leech. And after being sucked, the blood does not clot for a long time. In this case, it flowed for 8.5 hours. Viti had to go home with a sanitary towel on his neck. By the way, even before fixing, we weighed the leech, and readings amounted to 1.5 grams. Well, and the subsequent weighing showed that it had gained 10.7 grams. That's quite an appetite. So the leech became seven times heavier. That's a pretty powerful result. After 24 hours, the leech left a mark like this. To continue the experiment, we went looking for a person who consumes a lot of alcohol. By the way, there were no problems at all. Then we went to the dispensary and arranged a meeting with a man who is being treated here for drug addiction. He agreed to give us some of his blood. From previous experiments, it was clear that, ideally, the leech should be sucked directly to the person. But if this is not possible, the blood collection for the experiment should be done in the hangar. For this purpose, it was agreed with the participants of the experiment and the field laboratory. Of course, everything is done professionally and in conditions of complete sterility. Let's start with the blood of a drug user. Wow, it's only been five minutes and the blood is already coagulating. Not all of it, of course, but it came out of the tube with difficulty, or rather, it fell out. But it's beautiful. It's a rich, dark red color. Now cover the Petri dish with gauze, pressing it lightly and start leaching. The bloodsucker immediately sucks on the gauze, and you can even see how greedily the leech swallows the blood. Wow, still drinking, and we had some doubts about it. Although, as it seems to us, we can already see the differences at this stage. There's how much the leech twisted, and it drank for a very short time, literally 10 minutes. And then it suddenly decided to interrupt its meal and walk away. Of course, we brought it back and put the lid on it and it's wriggling around in there, but it's not thirsty. About 30 minutes passed, and it became clear that more leeches will not eat such blood. Well, take a container, stick a piece of tape on the bottom, and mark which of the leeches will live in a new place under our careful observation, and then fill the container with water and move it. Now we move on to the blood of a person who regularly consumes alcohol. By taking two versions of the blood at the same time, we did everything very quickly to avoid clotting. However, after 10 minutes, the red liquid would not fall out of the tube. In the end, it just fell out into the Petri dish as a solid jelly-like lump. A reasonable question, how is a leech supposed to drink jelly? But when we pressed on the briquette, it immediately burst and red liquid poured out. This means that the experiment will take place. According to the old method, we covered it with gauze and put a leech on top of it. It immediately sucked on the area of the tissue and began to eat with appetite. Several times the bloodsucker changed its location and enthusiastically took over a new area. In general, the process of drinking blood was extremely long. At one point, the leech even chewed a hole in the gauze, and then it tried to dissolve the coagulated jelly particles with its saliva by sticking its head into them. 
In short, of all the variations of blood that we offered in a petri dish through gauze, this one aroused the most interest. The main thing is that blood with alcohol should be less addictive. It's been about an hour. The leech is completely saturated, so you can move it to a new house for further observation. We have heard such a legend that if the leech drinks the blood of a smoking man, it will die immediately. To test the truth, we got such blood, although it took us four days, because finding a pure smoker turned out to be another task. As soon as we put the leech in a petri dish, it was clear that it did not want to drink. The bloodsucker is so uncomfortable with this that it just wants to get away. We've put it back a few times, but to no avail. Maybe it's just not hungry, although it's weird to refuse blood. Okay, let's get another one. Wow, this one isn't drinking, but it's still trying to get away. The third one is trying to crawl away, but it won't drink blood. Yes, that's not exactly the result we were hoping for. Even the blood of an alcoholic was received with great enthusiasm. Looks like a reason for nicotine addicts to think about what they're putting into their bodies. By the way, while we were looking for the blood of an inveterate smoker, we were simultaneously observing the condition of the participants in the experiment. And there was a lot to watch. Immediately after the meal, the leech that drank Vitya's blood lay down to rest. Apparently, no special changes took place. But the one that drank the blood of a drunkard so gladly became restless, began to fidget and wriggle. On the other hand, a leech that has drunk the blood of a person who uses narcotics will experience some convulsions. She even has bubbles of gas coming out of her mouth. Her behavior seems to be a prime example of what the whole video is about. The observation continued the next day. The leech, which had to digest the blood with drugs, has already recovered and is behaving quite normally. The only thing to note is that a blood spot is clearly visible at the bottom. Apparently, she has regurgitated and her condition has normalized. Vitina is still the calmest she's ever been. And the leech that drank the alcoholic blood is still fighting, going somewhere, acting like most drunk people. Although, considering how much she drank, the leech might have had too much to drink. After a week, no differences were found in the leech's behavior. The only thing worth mentioning is that the water of the one who drank the addict's blood became very cloudy. Obviously, it regurgitated blood repeatedly, hence this result. And in Vitya's leech, and in the one that drank the blood of an alcoholic, everything is fine. The important thing is that all the leeches are alive. Guys, don't forget to share this video with your friends who have bad habits. That's all for now. Bye-bye!